Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be kitting up this diamond painting I got from YZHI on Amazon. So here is the original. Um, it's the thumbnail of the original picture. And so, yes, I called this Palm Tree Beach. I got it from YZHI on Amazon. This actually was sent to me as a product review, so I got this for free. But when I looked, it is $7.29 on, on Amazon. Um, it's a 25 by 35 poured glue, blue, bleh, poured glue with round drills with DMC numbers. And there are 20 um, colors on this canvas. So I am going to use these just pill containers um, I got from the Dollar Tree um, to kit up. Um, I have actually already scanned the legend here and put it onto sticker paper, which I have already um, cut up to make easier labeling. Um, so yeah, and I, I tested the labels because I these stickers I just randomly found while I was cleaning up. So I found so now I have a bunch of lab, um, sticker sticker paper to use. So yay! So I ready. Okay, so since there are only twenty, there are only twenty colors, but um, I'm anticipating using both of these, even though there are already twenty one spots slots, just because these. Pill containers only could hold about maybe 400 drills or maybe 500 drills. So I anticipate having to use multiple um, at once. So I just went and got a second one just in case. So yeah, here it is. Um, if you can, if you can tell on the screen, I don't know if you can, but it is a little bit. Um, what's it called? The bag is a little cloudy just because I just took this out of the freezer. So that's just all the, I guess, water condensing onto it or fogging it up. But yeah, I have I have had success with the whole put into the freezer so that there's no static thing. So, but yeah, here's two, two, four. So um, since I am doing this as a product review, I do want to do a more, I guess, complete showing of the item. Um, so it does come in these silver strips um where what's it called it actually has the dmc number on there and then the the number of the the drill color so yeah those are actually my favorite kind the ones that have the that are one in order of the table and two actually have the dmc number in there because when when i make my labels i don't actually put that first number in because I, I actually never look at the table. I use my containers as my, what do you call that? I use my containers as my key because, yeah, I that's just how I do it. I just don't see the need to have to um, refer to the key and then look for it in my containers. So I always just go straight to the containers. Now will this fit? Will this fit? Okay. Yeah, I think it will, so I don't have to go to do two on there. Well, once I open it and take drills out the first time, it'll be better. So the next one is 310. Okay. Man, the bags are cold. <laughs> it's, yeah. The drills are cold. I don't know how long I'm going to keep doing this whole put it in the freezer thing because yeah, I guess I'm, I do have like a little humidity monitor um, in my house and I think once that thing does not say low because that's what it says every time I look at it where I'm like, what temperature is in the house? And then it's like the humidity is low and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's still low. I think until that's the case, that's not the case. I am going to continue freezing my drills before kitting up. Oop, 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 oop. See, this is why I do this on a tray because I don't know how to aim. Okay. So, so far they've all fit into, maybe I'll be able to just use one container. Okay. 
U581. Yep. Okay, so I did say I got this as a promotional credit. I mean, a promotional review. I actually was surprised that I got contacted just because... Yeah, I have like, at, currently I have less than 100 subscribers. I have only, I only have been doing this for a few months and I'm like, okay, I just never thought that any company would come and ask me to, to do a product review. But I'm like, at first I was hesitant to say yes, just because I'm like, I don't know what, what kind of strings are going to be attached to this. But I did just say yes just because one, I guess I wanted to see what it was like to do a product review. Um, I, I don't know, I just was, I just wanted the experience and you know, if this turns out bad, then I will be hesitant to say yes the next time, but I just didn't see the harm. So, oh wow, okay, this is the first one that I think I'm gonna need to do more than one container but yeah I just didn't see the harm in trying so this so this is my attempt um what's the worst thing they're gonna do what be like never give me another one again eh, so no big deal seven I could pay for my own diamond paintings um you know, once, you know, I'm actually starting to buy diamond paintings again because I'm still trying to finish up more of my stash. My goal this year is to make my uncompleted stash to be less than 20 diamond paintings. And just the fact that 20 for a lot of people are probably think is plenty. The fact that I'm trying to get down to less than 20 just shows how many diamond paintings I actually, uncompleted diamond paintings I actually have. So um, I am trying to make it a more manageable number. Um, so I am, yeah, I'm not buying anything. Sure, you might still see some unboxings on my channel, but that's only because one, yeah, the last time I bought something was during the what's it called the AliExpress like Black Friday sale or was it the 11-11 sale so and I still actually haven't gotten some of them so, so I'm like uh yeah so you will do you will see some unboxings still even though I'm not buying anything but it's it's hard I think it's part of the addiction is actually buying stuff for diamond painting for crafting. I just I just have to stop myself because I cannot be okay, so I was watching Jeopardy. You know what? I have plenty of what's it called? Containers. So I'm just gonna put this all into the next line so that they're not separated. Um so I was watching Jeopardy the other day and um, one of the contestants, I think, mentioned, what was the word, like, sundoku, which is like some Japanese term. I could be wrong, so I could be missing a syllable or, you know, um, but they said, I think the term was sundoku, where it was, was the term for having more books than you could possibly read or buying more books than you could possibly read or something like that. Um, so I think a lot of diamond painters, maybe almost, well, I think I'm trying, I'm, I'm really trying not to get to that point, but a lot of diamond painters, if you've seen some of people's stashes, they've gotten to that point. They, there's like, there needs to be a, an, a word for having more diamond paintings than you could possibly complete. Um, so if if sundoku is is a is a term that could go towards anything not just reading not just books then i think yeah i'm trying not to reach the point that that is a true statement for me because yeah i don't want to have more uncompleted diamond paintings than i could possibly do so i mean 
I just keep telling myself this so that I don't buy more because I have to put some sort of restraint on buying. Just because just because the, the diamond painting is pretty doesn't mean you have to go buy it. And I mean, sure, some things might be a limited um, print or something, but you know, if you're not gonna ever complete it, then why buy it? You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, Everyone could choose how they spend their money and how I choose. Well, I, it's not necessarily enough. Well, yeah, I mean, there'll be a point where it's just way beyond than what you could afford, but it's more of a storage thing for me. I'm like, I just don't want my stuff bursting where I don't even know where to put things. Um, so yeah. And plus, I think when you have just too many, you're just going to be so overwhelmed by your stash that diamond painting actually might not be enjoyable anymore. But yeah, here's to hoping my goal of by the end of 2021 that my stash is actually less than 20. And I mean, I might, I, I know I'm probably going to break at some point and buy more diamond paintings, but the closer I get to 20, the happier I'll be. So, um, yeah. And I actually do diamond paint my stuff. And most of my stash is smaller, so there is a great possibility that I I will complete them. And and I've also been what's it called? Trying not to buy anything too big just because logistically I just don't think I have the time to finish them. Um so I, I give props to the people who could just churn out the big, big ones, just keep churning them out. But I have a full-time job and I just don't have the time to do the massive ones. Or I'll, yeah, unless that's all I was doing. And I really like these small ones, like just completing, like, I mean, these ones that people call snack sizes, I just completing them you just have this sense of like happiness from completing and it takes too long to get to that point on the bigger ones um and plus i like kidding up too much that if you've noticed like my videos are mostly like kidding up videos and things like that and if i were doing the big ones i actually wouldn't be able to kid up as many diamond paintings so I actually, some might think I stick to the small ones just because I actually like kidding up and the big ones you only end up kidding up, you know, the one time and they end up becoming kind of tedious kidding up the big ones just because, um, what's it called? There's just so many drills you have to open and you have to have like a bigger container. But yeah, no, I like kidding up too much that I think I have to I just want to do more of the small ones just so that I have to kit so just so that I have more kidding up. I know some people hate kidding up, but I actually love it. I think I like it almost as much. Or it might be almost in equal grounds where kidding up is what's it called just as enjoyable as the actual diamond painting process. Um, at least for me. Okay, I'm just gonna put this in the next one. Um, just since I have so many more containers. Um, but yeah, no, I, I like kidding up so much that I think I might <laughs> purposely do these small ones just so that I, I have more of an opportunity to kid up. Um, people, people might think that's crazy for me to say that, but yeah, that's completely true. Okay. So 9.45. But so now that I'm, I'm on like a no buy, my problem now is instead of so I'm a no but I'm on a, I'm on a no buy but for some reason I think I'm transferring my no buy to buying more storage containers um, because yeah no I I do have a couple that I've ordered that have the uh, some of them yeah they haven't come yet so you haven't seen the unboxing yet or at least I haven't posted the unboxing yet and. Yeah, I think I'm transferring my no buy to buying more storage containers and yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to have to put a, the no buy on the storage containers too because I have too many. But 
Can you really have too much storage? Like, I don't know. Especially since I've, what's it called? I've been kitting up more diamond paintings just so that I could have ones ready in case, um, what they call that, I'm done with one or I just don't feel like doing one and I, I could look through what I have kitted up. Like right now, I think I have three diamond paintings kitted up that I have not started. Um, I'm working on, I just finished one 30 by 40. So um, the only projects I have going on now are um, two bigger ones. Um, I'm working on Reverie from Dreamer Designs. Um, yeah, I've kind of took a little break from that. I'm hoping to get back into it, but I lost a little motivation doing it um, just because I had some issues with some drills. They did send me new ones, so um, I got them. But when you, yeah, when you lose the motivation, it's hard to go back. And then I'm also working on a three panel from from Mian, which I don't think I've even posted the kitting up yet, but I've actually just finished the second panel, so I just have one more panel left. But there, it's a three panel, and each panel is like, I think about 40 by 50. It's a little bit different dimensions than 40 by 50, but um, that one has been really fun to work on, but you know, it's pretty much 340 by 50, so it's gonna, it's gonna take a while for me to finish it. So then I just finished the second panel. So now um, this actually came just right on time because now I'm in in between, like after I, after I get to a stopping point on a bigger one, I kind of want to stop doing it because I think if you work on a diamond painting too much, you do get sick of it. So, so now I'm in a good stopping point with me having finished an, uh, a panel and what's it called so now I'm looking for another project to start and guess what's gonna be the other project project to start is this one and normally these ones I just start them and then finish like I don't take a break between these ones just because I do consider these smaller diamond paintings as my you know my break from the bigger ones so so I'll get complete this and then either start another project or go back and maybe do the third panel on my Mian or oops, this is upside down. Um, do the third panel on my Mian or try to do my dreamer designs again. We'll see. Um, but, but that's why I have lots of things kitted up just because it gives me options of what to do. Okay, that's, I think that's everything. Um, put my garbage back in here. Okay, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so there it is. It's all kitted up, okay. Um, I am probably going to work on this right away, so um, stay tuned for the... I actually am planning to combine my unboxing and the completion review in the same video, so say, stay tuned for that video soon. But yeah, here it is, and thank you for watching, and happy diamond painting. Bye!